I am Jacqueline Schultz and I am back with another review just for you. And this time it's a beauty product because I love beauty. All right, in all honesty, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to beauty and makeup and hair. I am just not one of those makeup tutorial hair style guru people. But I do get a lot of ads on my Instagram and my Facebook for all of these beauty products and I am totally sucked in every single time. There is one in particular that I see constantly. It is called the Time Hair 2-in-1 like curling straightening iron. I don't know if you've seen it. In the advertisement, they show women putting it in their hair, like putting their hair in the iron and just pulling it through and then voila, it's like curled and they have beautiful hair like they just came from the dry bar. I have come this close to buying one multiple times. And then I go to the website and even though it says it is half off, it is still over a hundred dollars. And I'm like, I am not spending that kind of money for a gimmick. I have no idea if it really works. And if it does really work, I have no idea if it's too difficult or challenging for me because I am also one of those people who bought the magnetic lashes thinking it was going to be easier and then had to toss them in the garbage because I had no idea how to apply them myself. But then I came across an advertisement for a knockoff version of the Time 2-in-1 hair curling flat iron. So I had to get it because it was a fraction of the price. Before I jump right into the review and show you the actual product and let you know what I actually think of it, make sure that you go hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. And you can always go the extra mile, turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will love you for it. All right, let me show you this flat iron, curler, whatever it is. This is the box that it came in. I think the Time Iron has pretty packaging. I don't really care about the packaging as long as it works and it makes beautifying myself a lot easier than I'm all for the product regardless of what it looks like in the package. But uh, yeah, this is not a lovely package or anything. It's kind of just a regular box. Oh. So this is called the Twist Styling Iron. And whoever made this pamphlet has an awful printer or camera or something because the picture quality sucks. Twist Styling Iron. The guidelines are what you use as a reference when curling, also known as instructions or directions. To straighten, place the gold-plated side closest to the scalp and slowly glide down your hair with very light pressure, clamping down with excessive pressure and or rotating the iron can cause creases. I know how to straighten my hair. I have a straightener. Wait, there's no instructions for curling. There's only instructions for straightening. The whole purpose of this is for curling. The iron will heat to 450 degrees. Only Celsius is labeled. So the instructions tell me in Fahrenheit, which I know because I use Fahrenheit. I don't really know Celsius, even though I should because I'm part Canadian. But um, yeah, I don't know what I'm heating it to in Celsius. All right, I am not deterred yet, even though it has horrible, horrible instructions and directions. I still want to give it a try. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. All right, so I just increased the heat all the way to the top as much as it could possibly go. And I decided to give it a try. I've seen a lot of tutorials and videos when it comes to the time straightening and curling iron. So I tried to kind of mimic what I saw in the video. I think what you're supposed to do is put your hair into the straightener 
and then kind of flip it over and twist your wrist so it's kind of curling your hair as you bring it down. That is what I attempted to do. I was not successful most of the time. I mean, sometimes it curled. I got a few pieces and got really excited that I finally got the hang of it. And then all of a sudden the next piece would be a disaster again. So I'm not sure why some pieces were working and why some pieces were not. It was super inconsistent. It was also really challenging for me to do the back of my head. So even if I did get it down and was able to curl the pieces of my hair, um, I don't think I would have been able to do a great job on the back of my hair. I started getting super discouraged. It was like a roller coaster of emotions because I would think that I got it and I got the hang of it and I knew the technique, then all of a sudden it wouldn't work again. So it was really, really frustrating. I don't know if it's just me. If you've tried this kind of iron or the time iron and it's worked for you, please let me know in the comments down below. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it turned off. Like the button wasn't working, the heat stopped working, it was still plugged in, there were no lights turning on. This two-in-one curling straightening iron broke halfway through my first attempt at using it. It is garbage. There's a reason why you don't always buy knockoff products. There is also a reason why you tune in and watch my review videos before you go shopping online. This is trash. Even though this is a fraction of the cost of the time, I would never give you the link and tell you to go buy this piece of crapola. After filming this video, it is going right into the trash. Now again, I have no idea if the time two-in-one curling iron is any different. It very well might be, especially since it is a lot more expensive. All right. That is pretty much it. That is why my hair is up in a big top knot bun because I do not have a way to easily style my hair. Let me know in the comments below what kind of products you want me to review on upcoming videos. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.